Welcome back guys. Uh, I told you I was getting a special part in and I got it on most of the way so I was going to show you guys what it is. I know some of you guys guessed what it was and uh, yeah so if you're kind of old school or older uh, you'll probably guess what it was. So here it is. Yep, that's right. It's an old Vortec Mondo after cooler aka the Igloo. Some of you guys might be like, what the hell is that big giant box on top of the intake? Well, this is a air to water intercooler and kind of an upper intake all in one. There, it's basically the, the grandfather to like the Holly Hiram style intercoolers. Like you see on, if you watch like Cletus McFarland, they got all those on their cars and whatnot. But this is the OG right here. This is the the pioneer of it um yeah this section right through here is the cores there's three of them that's where these water logs hook up it's basically what vortec did is they took three of their uh after cooler well, i forgot what they call them some sort of little name for their just regular superchargers and they pretty much just welded them all together so this cooler was rated by Vortec back in the day at like right around 1700 horsepower capable, which was, you know, huge for, these things came out in the late 90s, early 2000s. So, I mean, this thing's 20 years old, you know, so. Uh, yeah, these are, you really saw these on the old school, like Pro 5.0 cars, like Mike Murillo and stuff back in the early 2000s. The guys were running these on there on uh, early turbocharged stuff, and they actually work really good. They're still really desirable to this day. They're very rare, it took me, it's taken me two years to find one for a complete upper and lower lids and a core and everything that was all good. Two years to find one that someone was wanting to sell. You'll see them sometimes, people will have them, but they never want to sell them because they didn't make a lot of them. And uh, yeah, they're just so old now that they're just not out there anymore. This one's even, really rare because it has the uh, 4150 base plate uh, it's just a standard 4150 square base plate attached to my trick flow r 4150 intake which has never been done before um, you usually see these with like a trick flow r inline intake or a holly system max or even a gt40 lower the 4150 is a little bit harder to get um, yeah, it's got an AccuFab 90 millimeter throttle body on it. Uh, this one's been all polished. Someone actually took the time to polish this one. They didn't come polished, so it looks pretty sweet. So yeah, it's uh, the reason you don't really see them too is they aren't really practical. They're, I mean, look how tall this thing is. It's gonna set. I had to cut my hood, I and mean, it sets. It's up there, for sure. I just think it looks awesome, but. Some people might not want to cut a hood or have a big crazy aftermarket hood, which if you had this on an 8.2 deck with a, you know, a trick flow R inline intake, it would set down a little bit lower. This is about, you know, as max height as you're going to get, you know, with the uh, single plane Super Victor style on there and everything. But yeah, it's a really cool piece. I've wanted one of these forever. They're really rare. Uh, and they work good. There's actually, believe it or not, some, a local guy to me that has one on his car and uh, it works really good. So, uh, yeah, the only, too bad I sold my my uh, water reservoir in the trunk. I'll have to get another one to run lines up to it, but that ain't a huge deal. It's nice just to have a package all in one like this. You don't got to mount a remote intercooler somewhere. There's just not a lot of room on these Fox bodies, believe it or not. Um, and I didn't really want to mount it in the cab and have a ton of piping. This go around, I'm going four inch piping, uh, just to ensure that it has plenty of airflow coming out of this big 88. I don't want to choke it with three inch, so we just, we'll just run four inch. It don't really need, that's the nice thing about having your intercooler on top of the engine too, is you know, you just need one single pipe up. You don't need a bunch of, uh, a going and a coming from pipe so yeah the uh, I've had this thing running just a little bit 
and uh, it it already runs so much better with this cam and this that's a lot of plenum volume compared to just a little 4150 elbow and it it loves it it just it's never revved as clean and as crisp ever with uh since i've got this thing so it, it loves this big plenum volume on top of here so the only real drawback to these which is you could get this even on modern cores is because your intercooler is sitting right on top of your intake if you ever get a leak in this it's gonna fill your cylinder full of water and uh, that'd be a bad day bend a rod or whatever so there is drawbacks to it um Obviously, you could probably you might get a little bit of heat soak from the engine actually heating the core, but on a drag car where you're just basically firing it up and then t quickly taking it down the staging lanes, running ice water through it, shouldn't be an issue. But if you were to drive this on like for a long time, probably over half an hour, it would probably get it would lose some efficiency just from the motor heat soaking the core. Like I said, on a drag car, not really a big deal. So yeah, that's the piece, guys. Uh, I gotta get the rest of the pipe, weld that up, and it will be pretty much done, other than running water lines to it. But the engine is done. Uh, we got the downpipe all done. I just I went under the bar this time. It looks a little a little nicer, I think. Put my OG tip back on there. I always looked. I always like the look of it. Way better than just the aluminum I had on there. So yeah guys, this is just a short little video going over the Vortec Igloo. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and hit that subscribe if you want to see some more. So, see ya.